Hello everybody and welcome to the Epic Flight Academy in beautiful New Smyrna Beach, Florida. This is the Private Pilot Ground School course and my name is Mike Thompson. Now we're talking about observed weather products and today we want to touch upon some of the common symbols and legends, radar charts, and what I call the king of charts, the surface analysis. Now, as we do this, I'm going to remind you once again, there are three things that are essential to your success. Number one, you are studying this course in Epic's online course, and that means you're studying all of the attached references. Number two, you're looking at this video in parallel to that content. And thirdly, and just as important, you must review all of this content one-on-one -on -one with your flight instructor. So what about these observed products? Well, we wanted to start with legends. And one of the most common legends in observed aviation weather products is called the uh, station plot model and you can see an example of that here the station plot model is a circle for that station and around that circle is information about the current weather and inside of that circle is information about the current sky cover so take a look again at our example notice here the little circle has three quarters of it blacked out and one quarter is white. That's the sky cover. And in this case, that's mean, that means a broken ceiling. And we'll talk about that more in just a second. But that's the sky cover. Notice that around that plot model, there's different information. For example, to the left, you see present weather, and you see those three black dots or those two black dots in this case and you're wondering now what the heck is that these are the types of legends and symbology that we're talking about we need to get to know to the left of those we see three that means visibility and statue miles below it we see two numbers that means 12 that really means 1,200 feet. We always add two zeros to those. Those are in hundreds. So in our example, that station plot says there's a broken sky at 1,200 feet. The present weather is rain with three miles of visibility. So in order to make sense of these plot models, we need to know these legends. And here you can see we start from clear at the top to few, scattered, broken, broken and overcast, overcast, obscured, etc. And then you also see some um, symbols for different types of weather, rain, drizzle, haze, fog, mist. Okay, these are the symbols we're talking about learning. Now, of course, you'll find these in your textbook. You're also going to find them in the AIM chapter 7 and you will also find some of these at Aviation Weather that's our website you're also going to find some of these in the uh, advisory circular 0045 that's Aviation Weather Services so there's a lot of sources for these symbols now, on that station plot model, you may also see a tail, or sometimes we call it a feather, attached to it. Now, I want to show those to you here. In this example, we see this feather, and on this feather, we see this little triangle, two long lines, and one short line. Now here's how we interpret that. That feather will be attached to that station plot model in the direction from which the wind is blowing. Remember, we always talk about wind in the direction that it's coming from. Now, those long tails mean 10 knots. The short tail means 
five knots. Well, how about that triangle? That means 50. So up at the top here, we see a triangle, long, long, short. That's 50, 60, 75. That's a 75 knot wind. Look at the one right below it. This is showing the wind from a northeasterly direction, and it's showing it at about 25 knots. The third one down, if that tail were coming off our station plot, it, it shows that wind is coming from the south, a fairly light wind of about five knots. And what would that station plot look like if there were no wind? And that's our fourth example, a circle within a circle, calm winds. The next example is this list of abbreviations. Now, I don't wanna go through all of those individually. Again, you're gonna to refer to your text and the AIM and work with your flight instructor. But notice a couple of common ones. For example, mist is BR, smoke is FU, haze, HZ. Do you see those? The ones that I do want to point out are towards the bottom of the list where it says few, scattered, broken, and overcast. So when we talk about ceilings, we're talking about dividing the sky up into eighths, or we say octaires. Now, octaires are eighths. Think about um, how many legs does an octopus have? Eight. How many sides to an octagon? Eight. Octaires means eight, and we're taking the sky and we divide it immediately in half, and then we divide that in half, and then each of those in half, which gives me four divisions on one side, four divisions on the other side for a total of eight octaires. So that is necessary information to understand that, back to our abbreviations, overcast would be eight eighths of the sky. In other words, the sky is completely covered by clouds. Broken would be five-eighths to seven-eighths covered by clouds. Scattered means three to four-eighths of the sky. And few means one to two-eighths of the sky. The final uh, example that we want to show you uh, concerning legends is one that shows it shows these peaks and it shows these cups. Now notice these peaks talk about turbulence, these cups talk about icing. And then you see other symbols on there for rain, rain showers has the triangle below it and so on. So common sources for these legends. Again, your textbook, aviationweather.gov and the AIM. So with that under our belt, let's continue with some of the observed weather products. The next one to talk about is the radar chart. Now, this is where it's important to stay in touch with current FAA products, changes to the Aviation Weather website, and consultation with your flight instructor because as technology advances, some older observed products become obsolete and newer observed products come onto the scene. And that's been the case with radar charts over the years. So whatever the current product is, there's a couple of things to remember about radar. First of all, radar must bounce off of an object in order to work. Now, this weather radar we're talking about is literally bouncing off of, uh, what do you think? Well, it doesn't bounce off of air. If you're thinking raindrops, you got it. That's what it's bouncing off of. So if it's, if it's not seeing raindrops, it's showing a clear picture. If it's giving us a return, it's bouncing off of rain. And 
these radar charts are also going to show us intensity. And you'll see that um, reflected in what uh, meteorologists call the decibel level, the intensity of that return. And this is color coded for us. And you can see this uh, in our example chart, and you'll see it in the charts that you look at on the website. The lighter intensity are more bluish colors. The medium intensity turns from green to yellow to orange. Higher intensities become red and all the way up into purple. These radar charts also show the direction and speed of movement. And that brings us to our next observed product and that's the one that I call the king of charts. And this is the surface analysis. Well, Mr. Mike, why do you call that the king of charts? The reason is because the information provided on the surface analysis chart gives us a lot of information if we understand basic meteorology. For example, on this chart, we will find pressure systems. And with those pressure systems, they're isobars. We'll also see the spacing of those isobars. This will give us a very good indication of wind direction and speed at the surface. We're also going to see frontal activity. Remember, a boundary layer between two air masses. If a colder air mass is overtaking a warmer air mass, it'll be depicted with a blue line and triangles as a cold front. A warm front is depicted in red. A stationary front is when an air mass simply stops moving. And the boundary between those two air masses is now stationary. Okay, these charts are going to show us a lot of information in one picture. If we understand what we're looking at, we can discern a lot about the current weather from the surface analysis chart or the king of charts. Well, folks, that just about wraps it up for today. Join us next time for more information about weather forecasts. We'll see you then.